Hi everybody, my name is Vicky de Beer and I'm speaking to you from a very cold and rainy Verden in the Netherlands. I would like to talk to you about the immune system today. I think in the time of the COVID pandemic, we've heard so much about the immune system and also about people with underlining factors really suffering from COVID. Many times these underlining factors were autoimmune diseases and I would just like to tell you a little bit more about this. So uh, autoimmune disease is basically, if you simplify the matter really, um, is the body's overreaction to environmental factors. And the baseline issue of an autoimmune disease is basically inflammation. Um, so our bodies are bombarded by the chemicals in the air that we breathe in, chemicals in water that we drink, different minerals, um, and um, also things like the plastic that we use contain uh, chemicals that we actually take into our bodies. Um, so we are constantly fighting all these toxins in our bodies and this overreaction of being bombarded causes inflammation in the body and in the long run this can be the cause of autoimmune diseases so people are born with an underlying ability to get a certain disease for example with type 1 diabetes you must have this underlying genetic um, capability um, and then what happens is that uh, uh, there's a, something that happens in your life that they call the last straw. For example, you might have a severe trauma or you uh, are very sick, for example, with COVID. And that causes your own body's immune system to start attacking a certain part of your body. So in type 1 diabetes, it is the pancreas um, and the beta cells in the pancreas are attacked and it stops your body from actually making insulin and secreting it. So this is one sort, one type of immune um, disease but you get many different autoimmune diseases you get um, arthritis lupus Crohn's disease and um, celiac which is a disease of the stomach and um, that people suffer from so why is it that we that it is on the increase why are so many people suffering from inflammation but also autoimmune diseases and that is because our world has changed as i said we are basically bombarded by our environment um, and we have little control over what we can breathe in and what we take into our bodies in that sense but on the other sense something that we do have control over is definitely um, what we eat so um, the, the, the world diet has changed significantly. Never in human beings time have we consumed so much sugar, starch, um, gluten and processed foods. And it's literally making us sick. And we have to realize that. So people um, have um, um, started eating more and more processed foods because it is um, so accessible and so easy to obtain. But the bottom line is that we just don't know what is in that um, in those foods. Um, and um, people that make these foods, you know, it's big corporations are really just um, putting anything in there to stretch it, to make it more. Um, and they don't want to put in real ingredients because it's very expensive and it's time consuming. So they would rather the substitute chemicals with the same flavors and colorants and things like that um, and hidden starches uh, that we are consuming without even knowing it. So getting back to autoimmune diseases. So we said that the underlying factor of autoimmune diseases is inflammation. And what causes inflammation? So we said there's all these chemicals around us in our bodies and our bodies are fighting um, all these toxins. So what do we do now? We take in huge amounts of gluten um, and sugar and other starches and we actually take it into our stomachs. Now our stomach lining, our gut lining, um, is basically our first line of defense for these toxins. And we have this lining protects us against toxins and it stops the toxins from getting into our bodies. And this lining is populated by probiotics um, and in our gut um, is also uh, prebiotics. And these uh, probiotics basically help us to take the minerals and the vitamins from food and to digest, but it also protects us against the toxins. But gluten and sugar and starch kills probiotics. Our first line of defense is actually basically destroyed by this. And um, what then happens is, is that it basically per it makes little holes in our stomach lining so that these toxins can go through very easily um, because we don't have that protection anymore. And this is a very simplified explanation of what happens. Um, but this causes 
inflammation in the body and an overreaction by our immune response. And it depends on what your underlying factors genetically is on what part of the, the body gets attacked. Um, so how do we stop this? How do we stop this inflammation cycle that we live off? Um, and basically it is by cutting the amount of gluten that we eat, cutting out so much sugar and starches and starting to eat fibrous green vegetables and good fats. Fibrous green vegetables naturally contain prebiotics and probiotics um, and minerals and vitamins that we so desperately need to boost our immune system and to protect our bodies against the toxins. They contain antioxidants that protect you against toxins. So a diet rich in vegetables uh, with good quality protein, because we need the protein, it's the building blocks, the enzymes that build our muscles, that give us strength, that give us good energy, good sustainable energy, and also good fats that we need for all our processes in our body. Our cells are made with, with um, fats, our brain need fats. Um, and I'm talking about the good fats, I'm talking about olive oil, coconut oil, butter, other saturated fats um, are good for you. And reducing the amount of trans fats and, and, and the bad fats that we consume. Also uh, fats using uh, for deep frying and things like that. And I think people and especially chefs and people running restaurants and um, feeding people should realize that when you open your restaurant's doors, there are so many people sitting there that are actually suffering from these autoimmune diseases that are actually suffering from inflammation and that we should rather be feeding them sustainable healthy foods, vegetables, um, non-starchy, non-sugary foods, good quality proteins, and using good fats to do it, to help people to have stronger immune systems. And, and that takes a different take on, on menu planning and how you, you plan your sides and things like that and giving people exciting options when they order. And I think everybody realizes, luckily now, that vegetables are versatile. That just to take something like a cauliflower or a broccoli head, you can make anything from a salad it to roast it whole to pickling it to pan frying it I mean and it's delicious and it looks beautiful on a plate um, and I hope that this message will inspire you to just go and look at your whole menu and see what is your offering for people. Are you actually building them up, um, and giving them sub, you know wholesome sustenance, helping them uh, protect their immune system, um, and 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 getting them antioxidants to to fight the toxins, or are you just giving them sugar and starches that will actually just destroy the gut lining and just cause inflammation? So um, I hope you will go forth and and create wonderful, exciting menus to make people healthier. Thank you very much.